Hi Capricorn, this is your reading for Monday the 16th to the 22nd. This is the general reading and I'm going to use my charms and I'm just going to enjoy getting things done. Okay, well the table is slanted but you've got the heart chakra. So let's see what the cards will say in a minute or the crystal ball and you've got a lock Is your heart locked up? Because it's got a little heart on it as well Or have you closed yourself off? This is your heart and when your heart is closed off, it's usually also your solar plex your emotional chakra so then you've got the first time that this has come out that is a little wheel like the steering wheel of a boat nowadays the boats haven't got a wheel they have a joystick a joystick like in a game <laughs> um, so you might be traveling uh, you might be traveling you might be going on holiday you might be moving home it re also reminds me of the wheel of fortune so the wheel keeps on turning so that is one phase what comes round goes round this could be also karma coming in if you've done good you will get it back threefold if you've done bad you can get it back threefold if somebody's done you good or bad they will get their karma back threefold as well the angels are with you perhaps you've got the feather so perhaps you might be seeing feathers everywhere so let's put these charms out there and now I'm going into the crystal ball and I'll just have to clean it first of all I forgot my white stone and my angel I'll have to go and get them in a minute. Right. If I do this, then the camera starts jumping. I had it on the red cloth so it would stand out. Okay. Well, I'm already seeing things are up in the air. That is what I'm seeing as well. That you have. Uh, different facets I get the word facets that you have to polish so if you see yourself like a rough diamond you the diamond gets cut and you've got facets one for birth one for uh, joy one for happiness one for love one for work one for hobbies you might be taking a, f a couple of facets I think it will be one two three four possibly six uh, items this week that you are polishing up or that you are thinking about or taking action upon like you might be taking action upon your heart to open your heart because we've got the lock here and we've got the heart chakra you might be healing as well because green it means healing you might require space or you might go outside since spring is in the air and you might just sit out in the greenery in the park or a woods and doing your contemplation meditation and evaluation so that you can go on to the next level this could be job wise or love or in your own circle of life <clears throat> yes you are I also see a line you are drawing a line under something you are I think you are opening your heart you're trying to and to enjoy life a little bit more and I think you're drawing a line setting boundaries so beautiful beautiful well done you're going within you and you are realizing um, your qualities 
and you're going to start sparkling again. I also see an angel here. It's like the wings with a head. That's what I'm seeing. Just hold on. I'll get my angel. I'm getting to here. Get the angel. Get the angel. This is really crazy. Now, this is like a heart shape. This is the wings right from... And you can see her little face there. I hope you can see that. That is exactly the shape that I'm seeing in the crystal ball, the wings and the head of the angel. Wow. And she is with you, or he's with you. I think it's Archangel Shamiel or Haniel. And the angelic chakras is different to than the uh, normal chakras. It's the more the angels are associated. It's Raphael. Raphael is green and the heart chakra and also Shamiel. So that is Raphael and he's also the angel of healing. So there we go. The green, the angel, the heart, space and I think money is coming to you because of the wheel going round. You are working on yourself to open up and to experience um, more peace within yourself. You are working with the angels as well. And there is a ray on the angel's head. Um, beautiful, beautiful. I love doing the crystal ball. It's so magical. Okay. Yes, definitely you are drawing a line. You are not taking anybody's uh, bossy mood anymore. That is what I'm saying. And I see a heart. You're opening up your heart, definitely. Again, the heart shape. It's sparkling. I also see sparkles. So, beautiful. I hope you will continue to do so stand in your power okay open your heart so open up that log lock because it's also got a heart on the lock so love so that love and joy can come in okay this week I'm using the wildwood tarot and it's funny that I'm using the wildwood tarot deck as that is a um, pagan deck and that has to do with nature okay Capricorn I hope you're doing well and I hope um, you like the changes and I hope you've watched your romance reading as well they were quite extensive and well very in-depth I thought and some of them were really awesome said Aries and Aquarius and your star sign stood out the most for me that's Monday Wednesday uh, Friday Saturday and Sunday and the overall energy okay I'm going to put them above and then I'm going to pull clarifying cards and I'm using the House of Shadows and the, <clears throat> the author of the House of Shadows is Monica Bodinsky you might have heard me talk about her before these cards are so uh, simple that they, get, they give so much more information than they're different than the Lenemann cards. She calls it an oracle, but it's based on Lenemann, and that's why I like them, and I like the Adams family as well. And she's drawing. She's drawn a child with an extra edge to it. These cards have an extra edge to them, and that's why I like them. Wow. Mm -hmm. you're clearing away oh definitely and the overall energy in the weekend or week sorry okay first of all you have the knight of vessels and that is the eel um, with this picture I get uh, a message be careful somebody might be approaching you um, 
This could be uh, a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces. Okay, somebody might be approaching you with an offer and I also get the information they are slithery. They are slithery. Now the Knight of Vessels is the Knight of Cups. That means that you will be receiving news. Okay. Uh, well, I first looked into the card and that is what I saw. Um, yes, there is a knight coming. He might be offering you also um, a cup. Usually you see a knight on a horse offering, carrying a cup and offering you the cup. This could be a job offer and this could be a love offer. And that could come from a water sign. But I... <laughs> I forgot about the uh, basic meaning and I just saw something slithering. Okay, so take the two messages and see which one uh, resonates with you. The news could come from anybody, okay? It is emotional news and let's see whether it will make you happy or not. The card that's lying underneath it is the tower. That's number 19, so you will be brought back to a be new beginning. 9 and 1 is 10, and that's an ending, an ending to a phase. Perhaps being without a job. Um, the tower in Lenormand has a different meaning than the tower in the tarot, but I still keep the uh, the, uh, the tower meaning of tarot in the back of my mind unexpected changes something wasn't built on a proper foundation uh, one door closes because you couldn't make a decision so the angels and the universe did it for you I keep that meaning in the back of my mind but with the Lenormand it means ambition it could also mean a mature man this is Monica's uh, extra message in this deck you are wanting to climb high you might be moving to an uh, an, uh, an apartment okay so that is what it means in Lenormand don't forget the people around you because when you reach the top uh, you might be uh, uh, putting out the flag but and that's saying that you are on the summit you've reached the summit okay but you, if you've forgotten your friends and family, then uh, it can be very lonely at the top. So forewarned is forearmed. It's great to be ambitious. And if you haven't had a job because you lost a job, then there will, could be an offer of a contract but because we've got the eel here and they're slithery and electrical it will be feel like electrifying that's what I'm hearing Saturday night fever electrifying uh, yes you'll be up and you'll be um, charged up like the eel it has electricity you'll be charged up you'll be happy then you can celebrate but be careful there is also a warning the slitheriness okay keep your look at this he's got his eyes peeled on something I don't know whether you can see it but he's got his eyes peeled on something he's watching out and around him so keep your eyes peeled on the small print in the contract that is what I'm hearing in the second uh, half of the week that is Wednesday um, or the middle of the week let me put it that way you've got the um, ace of cups the ace of cups the waters of life yes work could be the um, isn't essen essential something in order to um, live so that is the waters of life the water of life once you've got a job you can carry on surviving and um, taking care of others and yourself it's a force that we need in our lives but don't forget your emotions there is a new emotional beginning you've got the knight of cups so there could be a love there could be um, a job it will bring in 
happiness, love, exciting, uh, taking care. Okay, you could be meeting, um, yes, an, a water sign. So that could be a Cancer. This could be a Scorpio or a Pisces. Now, um, let's have a look. Uh, the the night the night of cups is also like I said a water sign is cancer is predominantly cancer um, and you've got choices to make it ooh, this news this news that you are receiving and this new beginning this could be a new love this could be a job but we've got the crossroads here 22 the angels are with you like I said in the crystal ball the angels are with you so they're giving you a doorway so this 22 is for it is stability perhaps for you stability is a relationship bringing you uh, back into balance okay something stability productivity and that is what a four stands for proper foundations like this tower is built on a solid rock it's not falling over like in the tarot so your ambitions you will reach your goal let me put it that way it will be stable and so long you keep your eye on the small print for example be aware of slavery situations or people then you will reach the summit so that is the warning the angels have your back but you are the one that makes the decision they are giving you a warning at the end of the week you have the nine of cups wow look at that your wish is coming true this is a shaman giving thanks generosity yes but a generosity your cup will be definitely overflowing look at that that is the message here this week your cup will be overflowing and again the angels are here number 11 you've got the brooms even the cat has a broom and this is the humor in this deck okay you've got the doorway of the angels stability double numbers amazing brooms means there might be disagreements or there might be arguments so watch out for that okay I told you slithery people could be around you so be careful don't give anybody ammunition to argue or give you cause to argue or disagree brooms also means wiping away sweeping away old rubbish that you don't need learn from the past that's why it is imperative that you meditate or contemplate or sit quietly and evaluate each um, issue or question or situation at hand you are at the crossroads you are in your own power okay you are in your own power if you're not sure then ask help from the angels or somebody that could advise you okay definitely in business then you've got the ten of stones and the ten of stones is the ten of pentacles again an archway we see an archway dare to step through this archway you've got the archway here number 11 you've got the angel feather we've got the angel in the crystal as well before we began wow you've got um what you call it the universe and the angels the spiritual world behind you this could be what you're longing for to buy that house um, to grow and be steady like a tree put down roots well you've got your wish coming true and this is the ten of pentacles that means you might be coming into money promotion like I said a job offer that will uh, give you stability number four okay 
so uh, you or perhaps your mortgage or uh, is coming through you're getting yes your mortgage that you applied for is coming through you can buy that house go ahead okay um a 10 uh, is also an ending of uh, a period this could be that you're going into a better period a luxurious period you'll be able to spend more time with family and friends and the ten of pentacles also means reunion with family and friends gathering and look at here you've got the family Woohoo! and we've got number 34 that means good luck because that becomes a seven uh, you've got luck with this card this is the fish and that means know your boundaries and let others know your boundaries learn from the past as, as I said okay mm. don't give anybody ammunition uh, to use against you know your boundaries learn to say no sorry I can't I'm sorry I'm busy with something else or I can't manage that on that date so they will respect your boundaries it is um, their issue and their problem if they do not respect your boundaries and you or your your uh, your your wishes because look you've learned from the past you've swept away people that didn't respect you you can work well in groups I've got a feeling you might even get a managerial position this is the big boss and this is the manageress and this are the people that work underneath them I've got a crazy feeling for a lot of you this is imminent and now you've got the ten of arrows and it says in this deck instruction and this means home you feel at home in the position you are in or where you're living or you finally got your home okay again a ten instructions that the ten of arrows is the ten of swords you finished with negativity you're moving on you might have back problems or headaches okay that's the other side of this because usually you see somebody lying flat on the ground with ten swords in his back so that gives a backache <laughs> okay so instruction instruction you might be instructed um, to do certain things for a company but make sure it is uh, it um, it is also something that you can stand behind that you can believe in so that you can sell it do you know you have to stand behind your decisions you have to stand behind what you do so that it is right it feels right for you you might be instructed and being shown how to be a manageress or a manager uh, because you might have had this promotion and you've never been a manager so use that rightly wisely the old phase of employee just being an employee um, is coming to an end and you don't um, have to take notice of people that stab you in the back remember being a manager or a manageress is not easy because there will be people stabbing you in the back because they're jealous because they don't like to be instructed by somebody that's being promoted it could be like that that you are young and somebody's been there for 25 years and they're a little bit more mature and they've got the experience but they chose you so you know you've got decisions to make can you handle that people being jealous this new beginning is uh, will clear the air and uh, the swords stand for clarity communication and wisdom you are young so you've got the modern knowledge the modern knowledge of technology perhaps that is why they gave you the promotion and not the person that is a hard worker and loyal um, but is nearly coming to the end of their days uh, as an uh, 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 an employee of course they might be going on to off to pension in a couple of months or years and so they they chose you they promoted you and you will be taught or instructed by this 
mature person okay so be open in mind as well learn their techniques and also use your own techniques your own knowledge your own uh, own spontaneity um, because uh, communicate gently and watch the intonation okay don't bow down to anybody let let them know your boundaries okay and don't um, go over your boundaries because you'll get exhausted so there's new, perhaps something that will become clear to you something that uh, because it is a negative card in one sense somebody stabbed you in the back perhaps it will become clear to you who it was if you didn't know it so you will get to know who this this slithery person is it's amazing I hadn't even seen this card before I saw this card but there's so much information coming to you so stand your ground look at how strong you're standing there and you're ready to pull the arrow it could be the arrow through love but it's going towards a new beginning Wow now the overall energy is the bouquet and the bouquet okay it might not be clear to you but there's somebody also coming through here that's passed over and has gone to the next world they're giving you they're sending you a message they're giving you a bunch of flowers and they're saying they're proud of how you carried on in this period and there is an ending coming that is what they're saying I know it will not resonate with everybody but somebody is proud of you from the other world and may and they are confirming that there is a new beginning there's an ending one new beginning new beginning new beginning luck is on your side an ending okay um, again um, a new beginning your wish is coming true again an ending and an ending and new beginning you are doing really well Capricorn so take this bunch of flowers from heaven from your loved one and know they are with you perhaps that is your angel wow that is really magic magic I'm going all cold wow well this is a lovely reading even if I say so myself if it doesn't resonate with you then hold on because I'm doing the other readings as well and have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign and please remember you're not alone your ancestors are your angels now and they are with you so please share and like this video with family and friends have a wonderful week take care and be blessed